What is going on lads? Today, BPL Team of the Season is getting released. 8pm for Xbox users and 10pm for PlayStation users. And I think the um, iOS comes out at just before midnight. For some reason it says 11.59. I just thought I'd explain why I'm making this type of video today. I did one last week. It did pretty damn well. You guys like to see the fact that Team of the Season is released. You know, some of you may not have Twitter, so you get to see on YouTube this way. And I'm at work tonight, so I won't be able to open packs until the morning. I start at 9. I think at 7 a.m. If you guys want me to quickly do a pack opening when I get home 7 a.m. then please comment down below or like the video something to you know to kind of get me going in the morning uh, so I do actually get the motivation to do that. I would love to do that I'm just gonna have to see how much coffee I can get in my system before then so yeah smash the thumbs up if you want me to do a pack opening tomorrow it should be live at about 12 if I do do one but anyway in goal we're gonna start off with De Gea Manchester United had a great season this year you know he's the player of the season two years in a row now fantastic things are going to come from this goalkeeper in the future and already are today so I reckon he might move on um, there's been loads of rumours about him going to Madrid right back we've got Klein again who is also in the team of the season the most consistent by the way there's going to be two team of the seasons out at the same time team of the season most consistent is out until 1am we've got John Terry at centre back which is fair by any means I mean Chelsea have had an outstanding defence this year we've got Fonte at the other centre back role uh, he's had a pretty solid year to be fair I mean Southampton have been fantastic Fantastic. There should have been a club in turmoil of all these players going out, but Coman has made this squad, you know, very, very good. He's brought in his own transfers, and the players that have been there anyway have performed dramatically brilliant, to be fair. Fonte's been fantastic all year. Aspel Aquara at left back, you've got Matic at CDM as well, so carrying on the Chelsea players there. There's a lot of Chelsea players in his team of the season, and rightly so, they've been fantastic this year. You've got a new boy in the Premier League this year, you've got Alexis Sanchez at right wing. He deserves it 110%, you know. If any Arsenal player deserves it, it's him. He has been great this year. He slowed down a bit towards the end of the year, but, you know, he's had a fantastic debut season in the Premier League. You've got Eden Hazard, of course. He's always going to be there. Fantastic player. You know, one of the best in the Premier League, in my opinion. Cesc Fabregas, centre mid. Again, he's come back to the Premier League this year. Um, come from Barcelona. And he's, you know, come straight back into the Premier League like he never left. He's done an amazing job this year. Loads and loads of assists. You've got Harry Kane there at striker. Again, a bit of an unknown player before this year. In my opinion, anyway. I didn't know much about him before this year. But he took the Premier League by storm. And the thing is, he didn't even start the first few games, I don't think. He didn't come into the first squad for a little bit into the season. And he's just been on fire for the rest of the year. Diego Costa up front. You know, there's not much more to say about him than the part from the fact that he's an absolute beast. You've got Adrian at goalkeeper. You've got Bertrand left back. Kozala centre mid. Henderson again, he carries on. Oh no, he, yeah, he carries on from the most consistent. Balassi, who's a bit of an odd one. I didn't expect him to get in it. Austin, who again has been good, but his side got relegated, so should he be there? I know he's been a great player all year, but you've got other players like Danny Ings and other strikers that could be there. And of course, you've got Aguero, who definitely deserves to be in the team of the season. He may get a purple card as well for finishing the golden boot, just like Ronaldo did today in today's team of the week. So guys, what I want you to do today is I want you to comment down below. Just let me know who you think shouldn't and should have been in there. A few people said Cazola shouldn't have been in this one. A couple of people said Henderson and Balassi shouldn't be there. Uh, there's other players that could be there like Silva. Um, someone even mentioned Giroud at one point. All these tweets have had sent to me. What I want to do is I want to get the people on YouTube's opinion. I want you guys to comment down below and tell me. I've had people tweeting me all day about it. I want to see what you guys think. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, I will do my best to get a pack opening up in the morning. I'm going to be shattered tomorrow but I'm gonna try my best thanks for watching guys subscribe if you are new like the video and I will see you next time